So often I'm doing Lego City updates and what's going on in the Lego City, but I never show you our Lego display. So while I'm doing some work on the shelves this weekend, I thought I'd give a little bit of a Lego display tour. So let's go check that out. So this is our Lego display area, starting off with these Kallax units. And then we have some Billy bookshelves that go around the corner. And then we have another small Kallax unit on the end. And believe it or not, this is actually all in our living room in our house. And it is a bit of a mess at the minute. So let me give that a bit of a tidy up and then we'll have a good look at these shelves. So there we are. That's a lot better. We can see the Lego display now. We can get into the tour. Starting off with these Kallax units. Now the good thing about Kallax units is it gives you this space on the top, which we need for our big Bricker Builds models. If we had the Billy shelves going all along these walls here, we would have literally nowhere for these models to go. And we're a big fan of these models. So we definitely want those in our Lego display. But then for actual Lego display purposes, the Kallax units do have their limitations because of these small cubes. You're limited to what sets you can actually get in there. If you look over here where we've got the new um, Tantive 4, it only just fits in there. It's very tight. So you are, like I said, you are limited to what you can actually get in these cubes. So you'll tend to keep these cubes for more of your smaller Lego sets. As you can see, the new Lego Ideas red telephone box fits in there nicely. So that is a good size set to go into these cubes. And we actually went to Ikea yesterday to get another Billy bookshelf, but we also went and got these glass shelves to go in these Kallax units because I think that these are really good. They allow you to get more sets into the cube because you can have one on the bottom and then one on that top glass shelf. Originally, we would put sets behind and then they get hidden so you can't really see them. So these shelves are a great way of adding extra sets to these cubes. So like I said, I am sorting out the Lego display and we did get that extra Billy bookshelf. So hopefully I'm going to be able to sort out some of these clustered shelves within these Kallax units and just space them out a bit more, make it look a lot better. And then moving on to the Billy bookshelves that go around the corner of our room. These are amazing for displaying Lego sets. They come in two sizes. You've got the, um, the shallow Billy bookshelf. Not too sure of the measurements, but we also have the deeper one too. And the deeper one allows us to get big sets in there like the uh, Welcome to Apocalypseburg and the Pirates of Barracuda Bay because they're really deep sets. They wouldn't fit on this um, shallow Billy bookshelf. So that's why we have two different sizes of those. These shelves are just so good for getting large sets into them. As you can see, you've got the Treehouse, the Lego Ideas Treehouse, Home Alone, Barracuda Bay, like I said, Apocalypseburg. And then on the top there, we have a Monkey Kid set, which is a very large set. So it's good that it can get on one of those shelves. Then in the middle, we've got a smaller Billy shelf, which is sitting on the corner. And in here, we've got some buildable Star Wars characters as well as other Star Wars sets as well. I really like this feature of the display, having all of the Star Wars characters together. I really like that. Moving on to the next shelf, got some more Star Wars sets with a couple of ATST walkers, Ewok Village. Moving down, we have our little Mario section with the NES Entertainment System, the Piranha Plant and Mighty Bowser, which is an incredible set. Also got the Series 25 minifigures along there for some reason. I need to get them over to the Lego City room. A couple of cars, Ghostbuster, and one of my favourite cars of all time, the Mini Cooper. Then we have the Stranger Things set there, along with the Yamaha bike for some reason. Absolutely unrelated, but obviously that's the only place for that to go. So with the extra shelf that's coming along, maybe we can move that along. Some more vehicles, the London bus, Volkswagen camper van, and the Vespa bike. Then on the bottom, we have another vehicle, the Back to the Future DeLorean, and another Monkey Kid set. Very underrated theme, in my opinion. Really do love those larger Monkey Kid sets. Not necessarily the, uh, the smaller ones, the mechs and all that, because it's very similar to Ninjago, but I do like these large-scale sets that look really good on display. So like I said, yesterday we went to IKEA, and we got another Billy bookshelf, which is there to be made. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One of them is that my wife has got into Brickheads, as you can see here, and she's acquiring a lot more shelves for her Brickheads. If you looked on the uh, Kallax unit, there was actually an empty Brickhead stand in one of the Kallax units. This did have the 
brickheads on it, but she's acquired a lot more now and she's needing more room for those. So she has demanded shelf space and she's already acquired one, two, four there already. And it's only going to grow. So we had to get another Billy bookshelves for those. But another reason as well is um, as we are part of the Lego Ambassador Network now, we're getting a lot more sets. I know it sounds um, big headed, but we are running out of space for those. So we definitely need more display space to be showing off those sets that we've been getting from there. As you can see, we've got the Ninjago Dragonstone Shrine set, which we got as part of the Lego Ambassador Network. That's just sitting on top there. That would be good to get on a, on a shelf. Other sets we're hoping to get on there is the Snow White's Cottage and Medieval Town Square. We're currently building those. So they'll need display space as well. So the Billy unit is going to be going on the end here in place of this Kallax unit. This is our Harry Potter display and it's getting very cluttered indeed. So it's going to be good to tidy that up on the Billy shelves. On top of this, we had the Hogwarts Castle. Currently now it's got a couple of marble sets, but they've just come down from that top shelf there that my wife acquired. They're just there for the time being. We had the Hogwarts Castle, but that has been moved now. That is actually on top of our TV cabinet, along with the UCS Millennium Falcon. These sets are just too big. They can't go in any of our bookshelves at the minute, I'm afraid. So that's where they are going. And they don't look too bad there above the TV. But I'm going to get building this Billy shelf now, get it in place, and then we can start filling it with Lego sets. A few moments later. So the Billy shelf unit is all done and in place. Now we've just got to get the shelves in and figure out which Lego sets are going to go on them. So to start off with, I'm going to put my Marvel shelf back in. This was one of the shelves I lost to my wife's Brickhead shelves that she acquired. So now I'm going to get those sets back in. Because I really like these sets, great Marvel sets, and they look good on the Billy shelf there. Then I was going to have a bit of a Disney theme on the next shelf with the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Cottage there. And the Hocus Pocus house off to the side there. But unfortunately... I don't have enough room for the gate part of the Hocus Pocus set. There's nowhere for that to go. I could maybe pop it behind there, but I don't think that would look good. So I may have to change the Hocus Pocus house and have something else there. Okay, I've still kept the shelf Disney by adding the Winnie the Pooh set and the Up House that were over on the Kallax Cube unit. Still think that looks really good with those three together being Disney. So I've now moved all of the Lego Harry Potter sets that were on this small Kallax unit. And I'm surprised they've actually taken up three whole shelves. So it does go to show how many sets were crammed into this small Kallax unit. And now that they're on the three shelves, all separated like that, it does look a lot better. You can see what the sets are. Whereas before on that Kallax unit, they were, like I said, crammed. You couldn't really tell what they are. They kept falling over, having to arrange them all the time. But this does look a lot better and then i'm left with one shelf spare which i'm hoping the medieval town square will fit on once that's complete and hopefully yeah that'll go there and then it will be all complete and it will be looking good so thanks to new shelves as well i've been able to sort out some of these cubes and make these a lot less crowded too these are looking really good as well in my opinion i'm really loving the star wars section as well on these glass shelves I'm very happy with how the Lego display is looking now. A very productive day. A lot of sorting in some of these locations. And it's just looking, yeah, a lot less cluttered. I'm really, really pleased with it. So there is our Lego display tour. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please consider subscribing. Really help us out. And as well, maybe like the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.